Well, here's a quick review of how things are going with this Orion charger. It's actually excellent. So I've set it up. I don't want this thing kicking in unless my uh, primary batteries are full. So what I did is I've set it up with the AGM battery parameters here, a little bit light, saying 13.2 for float and 13.8 for absorption. But the important thing is this, I've told it not to come on unless the main battery is at 14.3 volts and 13.9 would be your lockout. So as soon as it sees that the battery has hit 14.3, which for me is right at the uh, absorption float phase, uh, then you can go ahead and consider charging this guy. But if you drop the main battery voltage down below 13.9, then I want you to stop and just let it be. And so let's have a look at where we are on draw. Here we are in the servo and what we're drawing here. And look at this. So we've just popped up to, we're at 100% on the primary batteries. Uh, we've got 65 watts only coming in, but all 65 are going out, 70 now. And that, I would guess, is the fridge, the little 12 volt fridge in combination with this uh, float charge. And I say that because I was in here a few minutes ago and only the charger was running, the fridge was off. And I was only seeing like 40 watts being drawn right here. So that's all the charger is taking. It's not drawing down the uh, voltage on the main battery at 14.2 because the, the hit is so light. And now we've got this guy here in absorption and he will hit float pretty soon because there's no real heavy load on it. And the other battery from the Orion charger is now at 13.2. So he has gone into float. Yeah, he's in float now. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So I can keep the uh, batteries dedicated for 12 volt topped up nicely with a very minimal draw on the, uh, the new lithium battery to keep those guys topped up. Yeah, that's it. That's our picture. So I'm very pleased with this also. Victron is just a really good quality company.